Hi guys, good morning. Uh, it's three days uh, after the typhoon. So it is now that I got a clear picture of uh, the damage here inside the farm. So earlier I uh, uh, roam around the place to check the really the extent of the damage and this uh, is what the typhoon has done to us we have a, a damaged uh, pig pen but it's good news that our main the big goat house is not damaged by the typhoon in fact uh, fallen uh, coconut uh, trees and uh, bananas the goats hoovered in them the goats ate the leaves when they uh, uh, fell down just still at the back of the, the goat house. Now, as you can see, there under the goat house, just uh, beside it, at the fence. So those are the leaves of the coconuts and the bananas. So they are hungry now because it's about to be 7 o'clock and they're going to be served with their breakfast. Oh, look at them. They're calling us now to feed them. <laughs> uh, the boys are preparing their uh, uh, forage already. We have plenty of forage now in the farm. No, because of what happened. We have so much leaves. Okay. So we're so grateful that the main house is not damaged. No? Although there were some uh some it's just a minor damage the this one the pathway the roof but you know uh our fence in there it's being ravaged by the fallen bananas banana trunks uh, coconuts gemelina oh you guess you can see the damage this goat house is intact. We have around one, two, three, four, five or six goats in here, old box. But you know, the mango tree here uh, is also destroyed. You know, this is what's left with this very big mango tree. This one actually, this is partially damaged. We have uh, plenty of goats here, you know. Uh, the boys were really worried when they heard a big bang over the over this uh, area because the the mango tree this one cracked okay and it fell directly to the very this one tiny goat house so, however well, this survived you know the, the, this is this is just the damage it's the roof it's the roof the deck uh, they were dense but very repairable okay so they immediately cut the branch, the big branch in there uh, to free the small goat house for pressure. Okay, so this is what they cut. This is what fell huh, to the very small goat house. This one, this is the crack. So you can see the crack. Okay. There's the crack in there. Yeah, okay. So this is actually the rubble. Now, a miracle is uh, our small hut is really very intact. I think there's no damage at all, this one. And the big house from this side, it has uh, no damage, but uh, at the front of it, at the sides, there were damage to the gutter area and a small portion of the roof. It's because uh, of the fallen a uh, mango tree it's a big mango tree and uh, uh, the the gutter part the edge uh, was uh, hit by the big branch uh, of the mango tree so yesterday we cut it to free itself from you know the weight because it might further damage the roof so just just partial damage but our forage uh, forage storage is totally wrecked so we need to rebuild this one <laughs> Inainayan lang na itong takaw ng ato ang kana. Pabangon na to. It's totally, totally wrecked. And this, this, these are the dents uh, made by the branch of the pollen mango tree. Yeah. Oh, um. Oh. 
This one 